games have been really good football games. And they've been good teams playing, you know, and it's uh, credit goes to them. They've gotten it done. They've gotten it done. They've beaten us twice in Kinnick. So, yeah, not, not a lot of teams have done that uh, historically, and credit goes to them. And it's because it's they're well coached and they play well. You know, they've got good players that play well. When we you saw Adrian play more in high school. Is, is this what you, did you envision this, what he's become? You, you know, you, I don't know if you ever, uh, at least I try to, you know, I try to temper my enthusiasm <laughs> with everybody. I'm an optimist, don't get me wrong, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure you see a guy that's going to be a national award winner. And in my mind, he should, he should have an opportunity to win a lot of defensive awards this year nationally. So, you know, I'm not, I won't say that I envisioned that, but I think all of us envisioned a guy that was, uh, um, you know, very gifted and had the potential to really be a, a very good defensive football player. That was our, our thinking. You know, we thought he'd be a defensive uh, uh, lineman. And, uh, you know, but he's really blossomed and just the credit goes to him. He's worked extremely hard. He's got good tools, but he, he really uses what he has and he's worked extremely hard. How seriously did he think, consider, talk about it, you know, it's interesting. He and I really haven't had that conversation in depth, but people tell me that, you know, that I've been talking to him that, you know, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. And, and the story I'd give you uh, back in 02, after the 02 season, uh, I had my arguments all set for Dallas Clark, why he needed to stay. And it was clear 30 seconds into our conversation, he had, he had made up his mind. Yeah. And sometimes players do that. And, you know, it worked out beautifully for him. And then conversely, Robert Gallery had my argument for him, and 30 seconds into the conversation, he just he asked me, he says, are you staying? I said, yeah, I'm staying. He says, well, I'm staying. That was it. So I never got to my argument. And, uh, it's kind of the same way with Adrian. Adrian, uh, you know, he, I, I'd compare it to, to a Robert. And I never asked Robert, you know, what was his motivation. Right. Although I think I know. I think he wanted to be recognized as the best offensive lineman in college football. And, yeah, my guess is somewhere in the back of his mind that's motivating him a little bit too. But uh, first of all, he likes college. He likes college football. He likes his teammates. He likes Iowa City. And uh, I think he's got some, some individual goals. But... He and I don't talk about that. I don't ask, and I, I, I know, you know, I mean, he's, he's a prideful guy. He wants to, he wants to be recognized and do the best. And, and I support him in that, uh, in that cause. I'm all for it. Well, but was, he's had a few weird things happen. I mean, the cabbie and the N-word, stalker. Why? <laughs> Why has weird stuff happened to him? There's, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in life. You know, some becomes public, some doesn't. And if you're a right, right. You know, prominent player, I guess it becomes a little bit more public. But uh, you know, I guess my Kodak moments with him, you know, things that he does with kids at Children's Hospital. Got a letter from a principal down in Albia, you know, going down visiting schools. Albia's not just around the corner. I'm not sure what got him there, but... Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, Albia? Just, you know, yeah, yeah. It's kind of... That's not around the corner. Random. Yeah, a little random. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just does so many things. Um, you know, loves kids, loves dogs, obviously. He's got his buddy Ace. That's right, and, that's uh, right. Uh, you know, he's just he's a tremendous human being, you know, and I... I most importantly, I see what he has, uh, the impact he has on our football team and uh, the care that he has. So, you know, he's a stellar.